Hey guys, this is gonna be a guide for mages for Astrals. What Astrals you have to choose and probably it's more directed towards the higher level uh, mages. So first off I'm gonna look at the top three on our server and I'm gonna compare with a legendary um, a Lord Divine mage uh, and see what we learn from there. Here we have Sarah, uh, she is the number one mage. On her Astrals you'll notice a couple of things uh, some astrals which are um, standard uh, you will find them no matter what mage uh, you look at and these are the pristine fortitude so the physical defense pristine willpower uh, magical defense um, the goddess blessing uh, re uh, refined uh, which is reduce all damage by a certain percentage and uh, pristine mysticality uh, magic attack uh, whatever amount uh, so those four astrals you'll find them on every single mage i think now uh, for sarah here then uh, there are two others that she had to choose from and uh, for the two she put the enhanced will destroyer which is extremely popular um, to disable the critical at uh, attacks but to increase the damage uh, always by a certain percentage and uh, she's also using the enhanced illusion 10 percent chance of dodging the enemy so remember those four that I mentioned, I'm going to open um, uh, Sylvester, which is the next mage, uh, number two. And he has exactly the same four. So the PDF, uh, magic attack, uh, magic defense, reduce damage are always there. A and then you have the two that again he has to choose. And he, he also chose the will destroyer. And instead of the illusion which Sarah chose, he chose uh, pristine enshieldment. Uh, so he went for the block. The difference, of course, with illusion and block is illusion has a much uh, lower chance of happening. But if it works, uh, you only get one damage. Whereas the block has much more uh, chance of happening, but um, it doesn't completely eliminate damage, but it reduces it. Um, I'm actually myself more thinking illusion is better, but okay, that's another discussion. And the next mage is 80 here. Um, 80 also will have those four. So you see there on top the physical defense. The second one is the goddess blessing. On the bottom you have the mysticality and the willpower. So those four are standard. And for the other two, she also chose the Will Destroyer and she, she chose Illusion like Sarah. So um, that is pretty much, um, and I'll look maybe one more Gargamel also from our guild, uh, also powerful. Uh, he looks like he's just coming back from the beach or going there. Uh, he will also, I'm sure, ha have it and he has it. God is Blessing, Mysticality, Willpower, Fortitude. Um, and for the other two is illusion and will destroy her. and I think that is a little bit of a shame that everybody is kind of religiously going for the same builds uh, which is why I want to challenge it now with a new piece of information that uh, I learned today um, let me just clean up my form because it is a mess and those are the nice Daru seeds by the way uh, which I have to make sure that nobody steals because they will give uh, 30,000 Daru each if nobody steals them 3 hours 30 minutes for that so anyways uh, we saw what the, uh, the top players uh, the top mages had and what I want to show next is um, on my blog I published uh, the first full legendary Lord Divine Mage uh, it's Jeff Hawk, I think from server number two, uh, if I understood correctly. And Jeff Hawk uh, is uh, why they call it legendary Lord Divine. He became Lord Divine. Of course, he's not the first one to become Lord Divine, but uh, it's called the full legendary Lord Divine because every single piece of his equipment is basically legendary, and he is a Lord Divine. And uh, I had published his astrals also here on the side, but uh, a little later in the day. He published uh, uh, some more pictures so I could get a better look at it uh, and this is him uh, this is Jeff uh, and uh, these are his Australs so uh, let's see what we have we have uh, what I wanted to show you is the pristine mysticality uh, over here that's the same we saw that before um, let me get rid of that uh, we have uh, the pristine fortitude we saw that also so basically uh, this one we saw this one we saw the goddess blessing uh, we saw and the willpower those four are always there because uh, they are just too good not to have them 
basically everybody will have uh, these these four so that's no discussion the question is what else he got and that's the most interesting part he got these three inst uh, instead of what we just saw uh, so he got uh, instead of willpower snipers edge and uh, enhanced determination so he's playing like an archer and he's got in shieldment like sylvester uh, and not illusion do note that he actually has all the other astrals he has the enhanced will destroyer he has the enhanced uh, illusion and basically he has all the other yellow ones so uh, it's not like he doesn't have it it's his choice so he chose to go for enshieldment uh, by that I see that he has uh, decided that it is better to much more often uh, have a dodge and re receive less damage than to once in a long while completely avoid damage so that is a uh, a good tip that perhaps the blocking is better than the illusion um, the next thing uh, that I really want to talk about is these two enhanced um, so pristine sniper edge is of course um, is of course the uh, increased criticals um, increased criticals um, here at, at level 8 and enhanced determination is increasing the damage when you do do uh, critical this is of course a very very different from than what we saw here uh, on the top player let's say if I take Sarah um, Sarah has uh, the uh, willpower um, the sorry the will destroyer uh, disable critical strike but regular damage is increased by 35 percent on the other side uh, Jeff here um, has um, instead of that he doesn't he doesn't uh, um, cancel his criticals on, on the contrary he builds on his criticals uh, and he uh, on top of that increases the chance of criticals happening and increases the damage that he does uh, with criticals so this is a very strong indication that if you are a very high level mage um, it is probably probably much much better uh, to go for um, increased criticals and play like an archer this will also benefit you when you fight uh, the world boss you will do a lot more damage um, with uh, than what you do today which means you will earn a lot more money uh, which will make you stronger and so forth and so forth so it is very interesting to learn this and I hope it was useful to, uh, to you guys to see that uh, indeed uh, the top mages on, on our server uh, let's say Sarah is level 68, 58,000, a bell rating 59 almost. Sylvester is 68, 58,000 bell rating, so very close to Sarah. Um, 80, 57,000 bell rating, 62, and Gargamel 68, 55,000 bell rating. On the other hand, you have uh, Jeff Hawk level 71 at 68,000 uh, bell rating, so he's about 10,000 bell rating higher. Uh, and he's about three levels higher of course at level 70 he gets to choose one more astral but still I do believe that uh, without the enshieldment uh, uh, basically you have two choices and the two can be the the critical so if instead of the will uh, uh, will destroyer and uh, illusion people could choose to have the um, the criticals uh, in a snipers edge and determination they would dish out I do believe a lot more damage than they currently do uh, they would sacrifice a little bit on their illusion uh, and block but I think that's well worth it uh, given the damage output they can do which means as I said on world boss uh, you can earn a lot more money which then you can invest in yourself become stronger and it's a chain reaction getting stronger and stronger and stronger so I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope it was useful I will uh, also suggest to the top mages um, this inf information hope it's useful for them also so uh, it's definitely not a good idea for a mage who is low level to do that because you just don't do enough damage to justify that but on a high level and I don't know at which point a high level is defined but it's definitely um, in, in the category if somebody would call you a powerful mage uh, from the point that people call you a powerful mage uh, that probably would would mean at that point you probably need to go to switch to criticals 
So um, that's my advice based on what I learned. Um, that's what I suggest. Hope it was useful to you guys. Uh, if you uh, if you like this, please do click on uh, like and subscribe. It always helps a lot. Uh, share with friends. Share on the forum. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.